Hello, so this is going to be a video on EDC knives, the knives I like to EDC the most. Um, there's also a tactical pen on the end, that's not going to be included in this video, but I do normally EDC that, so that's going to be there. Obviously, I don't EDC all these knives at once, I normally have one of them on me and none of the others. Um, but these are my favourite knives for EDCing, I'd say, at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go through each of them individually. Um, but there are four knives here. There's a Swiss Army knife, as you can see there. That one doesn't have a pocket clip. It does have like a little key ring bit, but I don't like knives on key rings. So that just sits in sort of a pocket, any pocket that will zip up or do up or, you know, go deeply in. At the moment, I've just got it there so you can see it. I've got the Tangram Armadillo there. I've got the Promethe knife there. And I've got the little Gerber knife there. So what I'll do is I'll show you them each in order now. Okay, so let's start by going through with each of the knives. I'll get the Swiss Army knife out first. So I believe this is the Swiss Army Hiker, if I remember correctly. So for the knives, there are two knives on here. I'll get them both out at once so you can see them. There's the bigger knife and the smaller knife. Now, these are non-locking Swiss Army knives, which is why they're sort of legal carry. Um, as you can see, they're sort of the, um, you know, type of ones that will spring back. Is it a slip joint, the name of this? means under pressure from the other way it will close, but normally they're not going to close on you. Um, so you get your bigger knife, that's that one, you get the smaller one. I can't remember the exact measurements of these, it's just under 3 inches, the bigger one, which makes it UK legal. In case you didn't know, to legally carry a knife on you for everyday carry in the UK, it has to be a non-locking blade that's under 3 inches. So it's better to side on, you know, err on the side of caution, get something that's probably 2.9 inches or less, just so... You know, you've got a bit of safety buffer there. Um, and you can carry knives bigger than that. For example, you could carry lock knives um, or bigger knives than that. Or, um, for example, just full tang knives and things like that. But you'd have to have an excuse for carrying it. You have to have a reason for carrying it. Um, whereas with something like this, in theory, uh, according to the law, you don't need to have a reason for having it on you. Now, if you're, of course, doing something suspicious with it, then you could be arrested or whatever, but... The law says in theory that if you're just simply carrying it on you, um, that should be fine because it falls under the definition of, you know, what would not be a knife. Now, the great thing, obviously, about Swiss Army knives is that you obviously get other tools on them. So, very practical thing, flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener on this bit of it. And there's also the Phillips screwdriver on that side of it. They're probably the things I use most, the screwdrivers on there and the bottle opener. So, Swiss Army knife is always just very practical to have because of what, of what it can do. Um, so now let's go on to that Tangram knife. So this is the Tangram Armadillo. Now this would not be an EDC legal carry knife. Um, there's the logo on it. Because it locks. Now blade length I think it would be legal. Um, let me just measure it up against the Swiss Army knife uh, large blade to um, check if it would actually be a 3 inch blade. Yeah, it looks like it probably would be a legal length, however, it locks, so um, you can't EDC it. So, with the Tangram, it's got a very nice um, sort of flip mechanism on it. So obviously you do that, and it's got a ball bearing washer in there, so it opens really easily. So it means, you know, one-handed opening is always nice on a knife, because you can pull it out of your pocket, go to use it, you've got it open. Um, it's obviously got the standard sort of liner lock there, um, so easy enough to close. Um, this is a very, very good knife. So, Tangram Armadillo, as you can see there. Um, this one is a type of stainless steel. It's a Japanese one, apparently. Uh, it says JPN, uh, A-C-U-T-O, and I think they've got their own name for the metal on this one, unless that's the A-Z-O, but it is a nice stainless steel. Um, it's very easy to keep this knife sharp, which I like, and it cuts very well. Obviously, it's got... Um, a nice sort of shape to this blade. So this one I can't legally EDC, but um, you know when I'm using a knife for stuff around the house, I generally use this one because it's the most practical out of all my pocket knives. Uh, another thing I do like about this knife um, is that the pocket clip is right near the top, which means when you do have it in the pocket, it's not really very visible. You can just see the pocket clip. With some of the knives, the pocket clips part way down, so a bit more of the knife sticks out the pocket, which does draw more attention to it. That's not really a problem, because obviously I'm never doing anything illegal with these, but, you know, I do prefer the knives that other people can't really see that you've got on you, just, you know, because some people are a bit funny about them, aren't they? Um, obviously, if you've got a reason for carrying this, then you can carry it, because of how the law states it. Um, it's got this kind of nice little checkered material to it, which I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, 
but that means you know you've just got a bit more grip you know of the scales on there it's not as slidey so yeah Tangram Armadillo is very nice so next up we've got the Promethe pocket knife um, and this one is similar to a Swiss Army knife a slip joint or whatever that is but it's a slightly bigger knife it's still under three inches but what I like about it is it's got more weight to the knife so when you're cutting of this you can cut more easily I also really like how the handle is set out for this as you can see it's shaped like that so when you hold it you can actually get your fingers in there a bit better and grip it better you've got sort of some scales or gimping or whatever they call it on the back of their jimping so you can um, you know get a good grip there and um, you know this is a nice knife to use if you're actually cutting open stuff you know packaging or whatever um, and you want a pocket knife this is probably one of my most used pocket knives simply for the fact that I can legally EDC it and it's quite a fair you know it's a decent sized knife it's still a legal carry size and it's a legal carry knife but if you're, like with a Swiss Army knife, if you were just carrying something for the sake of having a knife, I wouldn't use a Swiss Army knife. The knives on them are fine, but something like this is actually more practical as a knife. The Swiss Army knife is good because of all the other attachments on it. So, you know, it's more practical because you're going to maybe say, oh, I need a screwdriver or whatever, and then you've got a Swiss Army knife that can do it. With something like this, it's just, if you're primarily needing it for the sake of carrying a knife, this is the best one because it, you know, functions far more as a knife. Uh, you can see there it's got a really good nice sharp end, that is really good if you're open, uh, bags of hay and things like that, because you can push that in, bags of hay and straw, and then, you know, cut open with a knife, very good for opening packaging. Um, you can get these, I think, with different brand names on them, like the exact same knife, this one says Promethe, um, but they are good knives, as you can see it just folds into there. But yeah, this one is a good knife, these are generally very cheap to buy, like a few pounds or something, less than ten pounds. For that price, I'd definitely recommend it. It's obviously some sort of stainless steel for the blade. Generally, with pocket knives, I prefer stainless steel to carbon steel, simply for the fact that you don't have to keep wiping down stainless steel as often to prevent you know, a patina or rusting to the blade. With some carbon steels, they are technically better for cutting, but for an everyday practical pocket knife, I don't think that makes a good enough advantage. Okay, the last one's my little Gerber knife. This one is very similar to the Promethe, except it's a lock knife, so it's a bit smaller. So, I think this was called the Mini Paraframe, if I remember. Now, this is a knife I lost for years, and I really liked it, and I'm glad I found it again. I can't even remember where I found it. It was, like, at the bottom of a box, like a cardboard box or something strange. So, very similar. It's like the Promethe, but a bit more skeleton-like, and it's got a little liner lock on there. So, why I like this knife is simply, um, you know, it's a nice, sharp knife. It's a really good little pocket knife. The lock means, obviously, it's not going to close on your fingers. It makes it a bit safer. Um, but, yeah... This is a really good, nice little practical knife. Um, it's easy to keep sharp. Um, you know, it's practical. Um, this is basically like if you like that sort of Promethe style knife, this is the same thing but with a lock on it. Now, this is even shorter than the Promethe, but it's got a lock on it, so you couldn't actually legally EDC it in the UK. However, I think this would be a very easy knife to have, you know, a reasonable excuse for because of the small blade size. It's under three inches and in locking, so you know it's not really a very scary-looking knife. Um, you know, again, obviously read up on the laws before you carry knives and stuff like that in the UK, just because the law can really screw you over here. But this one, I'd feel more confident EDCing if I had to than the others, just simply because you know it's a smaller knife. Um, so there we go. This one I do like. Um, there's not a one-handed opening on this, which I kind of like, because if you are going to carry it, you know. They do a version of this that's a bit bigger as well, like the exact same knife, just bigger. Bigger handle, bigger blade. But this one's quite practical if you just want a very small pocket knife for, um, you know, opening stuff. So, that's the uh, knives I end up EDCing the most. I have open oils as well, which I uh, like. You know, I've got a lot of other knives which I like as well, but these are ones I think I end up using the most, probably just because of the pocket clips, I think. Um, but I'd say, yeah, out of all of these, by far my favourite is the Tangram, but I can't EDC this, you know, all the time because it's a locking blade. Um, but, you know, in terms of being a very good knife and a very smooth opening action, a very good handle, this is the best of them by far. Um, and then I say the Promethe comes second for me, simply because it's a knife that you can EDC, um, you know, without having to remember to keep taking it out of your pocket all the time if you're going to be, you know, going out in public with it. Um, that's also very practical. Now, when I volunteer, 
I generally have an EDC legal knife on me, although technically I don't need to, you see, because I've got a reasonable excuse for having it, and I'm on, pro on private property when I'm actually volunteering. So I could, if I wanted to, have this knife on me, and that would be actually a bit more practical, but, you know, I generally just carry this one, because it means when I leave, you know, because obviously I'm, I have the knife in my pocket when I'm driving there and back, um, and it means that, you know, I don't have to think, oh no, I've got a knife in my pocket, which I can't legally actually have on me, so there's that. Anyway, but these are my favourite knives um, for EDCing at the moment.